if you really want to understand statistics, then you need a good statistics book that has good explanations, both intuitively and one that also explains the math. In this video, I want to show you a book that I think has good explanations. It doesn't have all the math uh, that you would find in, say, a mathematical statistics book, but it really explains the intuition well. It's called Understandable Statistics, and it's by Braz and Braz. I like this book a lot. Um, this is actually the first book I used ever to teach stats in college, uh, this actual book here. And then um, I started using the book by Triola instead. So let's take a look at the contents of this book. If you take stats today, you'll probably use some type of software and you'll have to um, you know, pay for some online homework and stuff, but it's worth getting a, a used copy of an actual physical book and reading it. And I think that's the best way you can really, really learn stats. So getting started, what is statistics? Random samples, introduction to experimental design, organizing data. Okay, that's so like you know, bar graphs, circle graphs, really, really simple stuff. Averages and variation, it's very simple stuff. Elementary probability theory gets a little bit harder here. Usually people have a hard time with this. So usually like when I've taught this, like the first test would be the first three chapters and then uh, the second test would typically be some probability. So you've got elementary probability theory, the binomial probability distribution, and then normal distributions. Typically I would do like four and five on the second test. Normal distributions, introduction to sampling distributions, six, seven, and eight usually on a test as well, because this is like you know, estimation, basically. That's the idea. And then hypothesis testing. That's really fun, that's usually the last test. Throw in some correlation and regression. And then usually this is not something that I would cover, unless like in an honors class, I would, I've taught honor stats. In honor stats, maybe I would do that. And then same thing with this, non-parametric statistics. So this is, this, is, this is the standard content, right, that is taught in introductory stats courses in colleges uh, in the U.S. today. So it's a solid book. It's really, really good. It's got answers to the odd-numbered problems also in the back of the book. Uh, let me show you those. That's really important for someone who's doing self-study, right, because you're on your own. You see, it's hard to get help with stats, you know. Mm-hmm. It's got good, look at that, it's got solutions and stuff, it's nice. Gotta give this book a whiff here, it's gonna smell it, sorry. Just, ah, oh, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, this is a solid book, oh, what's this, look, that's me. <laughs> something there, something going on. Good times, yep. Solid book, it's got a nice layout, it's a modern book. What is probability? The probability is a numerical measure between zero and one that describes the likelihood that an event will occur. It's exactly what it says in my notes. <laughs> That's probably because uh, probabilities closer to one indicate that the event is more likely to occur. Probabilities closer to zero indicate that the event is less likely to occur. Yes. Yes. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. There's different ways of computing probabilities, right? So here it talks about how you can use intuition. You can use relative frequency. Uh, so like the frequency of the event occurrence and a sample of n observations. For example, um, you know, there's 300 students and 187 of them pass the class. So the probability that someone passes in the future is 187 over 300. You know, so you're using the, the data you have now to make a prediction about the future. Because that's what a probability is, right? It's a number that describes the likelihood that an event will occur. So uh, they are numbers that are used to describe the future. Right, kind of kind of cool. A probability assignment based on equally likely outcomes uses the formula. Yeah, this is the one you typically use the most, right? Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. This is good good stuff. I have some statistics videos on here. I mean, I, a couple hundred, but I need more. <laughs> so I probably should make some more. It's been a while since I've made some, but I just wanted to show you this book because uh, it's a solid book, and. Um, yeah, I actually use this to teach in college. So I've done a lot of the exercises. I've read most of the books. So yeah, I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. By the way, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. 
They're on Udemy, which is uh, you know a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, please use the links uh, from the description of this video because it helps me and uh, it helps you because I've lowered the prices. Anyways, take care.